It's been 40 years since Premack and Woodruff first wrote about the theory of mind in apes and humans, and the original paper has now built quite a legacy in both species. But what is the theory of mind, and do both species have it? Theory of mind describes our way of explaining the actions of others by considering what they're thinking. By applying theory of mind, we're able to assume various mental states in others, such as intentions, desires, beliefs, and misconceptions, and view them as distinct from our own. In Influence and Toddlers, their understanding of other people's minds and their actions are based on the immediate world in front of the child. He picks up the banana because he wants it. As children develop, they begin to talk about mental states to explain behaviour. They develop a theory of how other people's minds work, based not on the physical world, but on predictions of internal processes within other people's minds. He picks up the banana because he prefers it. A classic way of looking for awareness of false beliefs, a hallmark of theory of mind, is the Sally Ann test. In its most well-known form, the testee sees a puppet, Sally, put a marble into one of two boxes while watched by another puppet, Anne. Anne swaps the positions of the marble into the other box unseen by Sally. The testee is asked where Sally will look when she comes back. If the testee understands false belief, that is, that another's belief about the current state of the world can differ from the actual state of the world and their understanding of it, they'll say that Sally will look in the first box where she originally put the marble. Children begin to succeed on this test around the age of four, and this has been considered the age at which theory of mind comes to dominate social thought. However, explicit tests like these are argued to require abilities that are maybe underdeveloped in young minds, such as advanced language and response inhibition, where we stop ourselves saying the first thing that springs to mind, Brilliant! like the location of the marble in the Sally Ann test. Implicit studies of theory of mind that measure gaze direction and duration have shown that even young... The original study which introduced theory of mind actually looked for it in a chimpanzee, Sarah. The study suggested that chimpanzees are capable of working out intentions and goals in others, but the results were far from comprehensive. Opinion is still divided, while apes seem to understand intentions, perceptions and knowledge held by others as distinct from their own, one aspect they consistently fail at recognising is when others hold false beliefs about the world. This would imply that they do have a theory of mind, but not the same understanding of other minds that we have. But recent work has... Using the same eye tracking method as that used in implicit studies, a group of different apes were tested using video analogues of the Sally Ann narrative, like this one, where the red dot shows where the ape is looking. Here, an ape character hides a rock from a zookeeper, then removes the rock. Apes are found to look more at the original hiding place when the zookeeper comes back, which is taken to mean they understand his false belief. However, this interpretation of these findings has been challenged on the grounds that the ape's behaviours can be explained through associative explanations and don't justify an understanding of false beliefs. The ape associates that place with the zookeeper, so looks there. The results probably don't justify an understanding of false belief in apes. The possibility of a theory of mind in apes that rivals that of humans has been debated for many decades and shows no sign of being settled soon. However, more discriminatively designed experiments could lead to an answer, which potentially could lead to better animal models of psychiatric disorders or a changing in the ethical viewpoint of apes in science. For now though, it seems that apes are not on our level.